What does it mean, dried wine? Oh, so no sugar. No sugar, okay. Yeah, so sweet and dry. Okay. Yeah. So, um, wow. You were talking to us earlier about the, uh, the cut of the brisket as well. Is that a special part of the cow or? Well, the brisket, like, it's very interesting how brisket has gotten so popular now. But it's really a cut in the shoulder of a cow that's basically two muscles that come together that is very close, but like the ground chuck portion of the cow is where you get your New York steaks and your filet mignon, your ribeyes and stuff like that. And that's actually at our burger restaurants. That's what we use for our burgers. Which burger restaurant? Oh, Teddy's Bigger Burger. Always be plugging, yeah. baby. Oh, I love Teddy's. <laughs> oh my God. But um, we, do, we do a custom grind with the ground chuck for, for Teddy's. But it was interesting when we fell into barbecue that you're actually using not the prime, prime cuts of the meat, but you're cooking them in a way that really accentuates it and, and, uh, and makes it really palatable and really good. And, you know, it comes from a history of barbecue where, you know, in the South, it was the poor cuts of meat that were kind of the fall off the ribs and everything. And they had to figure out ways to cook them to make them good. And they made them like so good that they're like, it's actually hard to find good brisket now. We use a cab, a, a certified Angus brisket. They're all very consistent. They come to us really good. And there's all different grades down to commodity grade, you know. But we use a prime cut of a brisket. But um, they've gotten so in demand. And because barbecue has become so popular now that the prices are up commensurate with other cuts of meat, mm -hmm. you know. But um, you get a big giant brisket in, and it's the point in the flat. So one part of it is very lean, mm -hmm. and the other part is very fatty. And so when you order it in a barbecue house, you can say, hey, I want the lean or I want the moist, we call it. And so you cut off the moist part. That's going to be a little fattier. But the way that you render it at a, about 160 degrees, we, we have in the, in the smoker what we call a stall, and it stops cooking for about an hour. And it starts rendering the fat into the meat and everything. And then it'll kick up to the temp that we want, which is about like 203 degrees. And then we, we cut it up, you know, and that's, that's the temp that we, we we're, we're taking it out of the smoker and serving it at. But uh, it's, it's very interesting. And we separate the two pieces and then we, we chop it up for sandwiches and stuff like that. But like those end pieces are, the, are crispy almost. And we cut them up and we'll serve those. Ends, so ends, that's like salad. the gold stuff, yeah? Oh, man, yeah. You know, when I was growing up, it's like, this is this is so bad, but it's like the fish eye. You know, we would cook whole fish, <laughs> yeah. and it's like you don't ever touch dad's fish eye. Right, uh -huh. right. Ever. You yeah. give it to the elder. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah they, when I walk into the the smoke, well, my son is the pit master at a, at oh, our cool. at our prime restaurant. Truly. And so when I walk in, he goes, "I got some candy for you," and he'll have the end pieces cut up for me, and I'll just eat, I just oh. walk through and eat. They're so good. Yeah. That's the gold. Oh yeah. I did. I stopped by.